Hello, my loves, and welcome to your reading. Now, before we get started, please do remember that energy is interchangeable. So feel free to take messages, flip them, twist them, reverse them, however you see fit. If it does not fit, please do not try to force it. Just feel free to check your chart and check your other placements. Past, present, or future, you tell me as time is fluid and we are all on different timelines. And as always, please do remember that these readings are for entertainment purposes only. With that said, let's get right on to it. Um, this was a very specific um, request a while ago from a few of you, and I was waiting until I felt the call to actually do it, so now I'm feeling called to do it. I'm using one, two, three, four, four very, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, yes, five. Five very specific decks. Now this is going to be in the form of a pick a pile because it, it's a very select amount of you who wanted this read. So I want to be as specific and detailed as possible. Um, now pick a pile from one to three. However, if you feel called to watch all of them, you could find something in all of them. If you feel called to watch them in a specific order, whether that's three, one, two, two, three, one, one, two, three. If you feel called to uh, watch all of them in a specific order, watch them in that order. It could show, show you a way that things could play out for you in your specific situation. Now, this is going to be specifically towards your housing slash and or living situation, okay? Um, again, it's a very specific request from um, some of you, so I wanna make it as detailed and precise as humanly possible, and hopefully this finds whoever needs it. With that said, let's get right onto it, shall we? Now, I'm going to show you the picture of all three piles. Um, again, I'm using five specific decks within all of these piles. And again, if you feel called to watch all of them, or if you feel called to watch them in a specific order, do so. You might find a, a way to help you in regards to whatever you're looking for. Um, take what resonates, leave what does not. And if it's not your story, or if you, you don't want to claim it, then don't claim it. Tarot does not dictate your life. You do. You have free will. All right, my loves, with that said, let's get started. Now, take a moment and look at these card piles. I'm going to lay a picture here before you. All right, starting off with pile one. Oh, I'm hearing that song, don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right. We're on a road to nowhere. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Some of you could be in the energy where you're not certain where the, where the road, where the path leads to. Some of you could feel like you've been just kind of going in circles in your mind for a while in regards to where to from here, what's next, what's ahead, or how long is this going to be, especially if there's anything in regards to financial struggles. Some of you could feel like you've been on a path of kind of going in circles, kind of wandering, feeling a little lost, uh, feeling a little bit kind of in limbo or a sense of the unknown. Some of you are just in the brink of starting off on this path. It feels like keep a positive mindset. Don't be so swift or act in haste. Don't be so swift to jump to um, harsh decisions or conclusions. Keep your mind focused, stay grounded, very grounded type energy. There's a need to stay grounded, uh, level-headedness. If your mind starts to consume and overwhelm, get that in check. For those of you who feel like you've been on this path for a while though, in regards to a sense of uncertainty or going in circles, or uh, I'm also hearing Eminem, same song and dance, feeling like it's been the same song and dance, dealing with the same situation over and over again, or just feel like you're not getting anywhere. It feels like there could be a change in that up ahead. And again, for those of you who are in the start of this path, mountains are obstacles. It just feels like you're going to overcome this. A turbulent time is what I'm hearing. Your energy could be focused on your money right now, What uh, trying to take care of yourself, be level-headed. Some of you could be trying to get yourself at a good place financially. Some of you could feel like you're finally getting into that place, being able to stand on your own leg. Um, just get by, some of you are struggling with just getting by. It's like not struggling completely, it's like you get by, you, you do good, you, you got what you need, just getting by. And again, for those of you, I feel compelled to say, for those of you who feel like you're not quite there yet, you're going to get there in regards to your finances. Good stuff. It feels like wherever you're going, 
you could be having a new start already. You could be laying down a foundation for yourself. It feels like you're laying down. It's like lay, the, the way I'm seeing it is laying down the foundation for, for the bed, for that sense of stability. Again, for those of you who it's like you feel like you're not quite there yet or you're uncertain of what is ahead, it feels like having a sense of a good footing to stand on when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your home, your stability. Some of you, you could find yourself in a form of uh, limbo because I'm drawn to these cards again where there's a sense of um, maybe you are like kind of contemplating where to relocate, where to from here. It feels like wherever you're going, things are going to be better. If it's in regards to your, your housing situation, it, it feels like it's gonna be more affordable for you. This has money written all over it though, but being in a good financial standing, some of you could find yourself um, rooming with someone or some of you could be doing Airbnbs because I'm drawn to the energy. You see the two here where it's like, uh, some of you could end up getting a roommate or rooming with someone. It's like cohabitating. Some of you could be moving in with someone. Some of you, you and someone could be, some of you could be moving in with your parents. It feels like a sense of cohabitation to help and assist in regards to getting on a better footing in regards to finance, whatever that is to you, whether this is getting a roommate or becoming someone's roommate or, you know, some form of dwelling like Airbnb or something. Now what to avoid? No stinking thinking. With that devil energy, don't jump to worst case scenario, which kind of goes with, and in him, what I was feeling here, stay level-headed, um, stay very grounded. Also, don't feel like you have no choice but to put yourself in situations that you don't wanna be in. Don't go backwards, only forward is what I feel compelled to say. Do not settle, because now I'm hearing like plutonic. If you feel like you're in some form of situations, that's no reason to go put yourself into any form of plutonic type energy, bad energies, bad connections, people who aren't, because the devil could be a sense of binding oneself as well. Don't bind yourself to something that's not good for you or unhealthy. Even if it doesn't seem like uh, you know what sometimes people will run back to what they know or they'll allow fear the consumption of the un, uh, fear of the unknown to push them back into situations that aren't good for them um, because it's a form of safety net don't be afraid to let go of the safety net because it just feels like you could be go finding yourself going through something that's meant to help you free yourself and release yourself from I don't know why I keep wanting to say plutonic shit. I don't, I don't know why I, I never say shit like that. Um, it's almost like you could be finding yourself going through a form of purge process to truly let go of all the things that were holding you back that were no good for you to begin with. This could even be in regards to like a form of downgrade. Sometimes people don't realize what exactly is holding them down and holding them back until they're given no choice but to release it all, just let go. It's got the type of energy of like letting everything go and starting over again. Now, Look, uh, now I'm getting singing in the right. You see this play? I feel automatically a sense of let things play out. Again, embrace the unknown, let things play out, learn to go with the flow. Life isn't all sunshine and rainbows, but there's a sense of learning to dance in the rain. I think about it. If things aren't going great, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna sit there and dwell upon it uh, where it's like you can hold yourself to a negative mindset um, a resistance? as well, or you can just go with the flow, have a sense of release and embrace the unknown. Um, I'm being drawn to the energy. Think about it. If you find yourself, like say back in the day before all the cell phones and the GPS and shit like that, there was nothing but open road and maps. Say you lost the map or say there was a road that wasn't on the map, right? And you get, you find yourself going on a bit of a detour. You don't know where the hell the road leads to. So there's nothing you can do other than just embrace the unknown and go down and see what where where it takes you um because it feels like king of pentacles again that goes very heavily with that grounded type energy if you learn to just like go along with the flow embrace the change you'll see things are going to get better there's a sense of having some form of stability i'm hearing that's the midas touch thing because king of pentacles that's the midas touch and i'm also drawn to the star type energy it feels like you might not realize it but you're being guided towards a more stable situation even if you can't see it now don't allow negativity to consume you don't allow yourself to go through the merry-go-round of negative thought Learn to release, release the need for control, release 
the need to know and embrace the unknown. Go with the flow, roll with the tide, roll with the punches. Life has its highs and lows, but it's learning to, because now I'm seeing like a ship in a storm. It's learning to ride it out, go along with it. Um, think about if you're in the water, don't try to swim against the stream, don't try to swim against the current, go along with it. And it'll be a lot smoother moving forward. So it feels like even if you can't see it, even if it doesn't feel it, the more you learn to release and detach from the need to know, learn to go with the flow, having a sense of trust in where you're being led to. Again, I'm drawn to the star card, uh, the star there in the King of Pentacles, which is, has that sense of star card energy. You come to see that things kind of play out for your benefit, especially with that King of Pentacles. This is the surprise and the advice. And again, good stuff. Even if right now you have to take time, whether it's getting a roommate, being someone's roommate, or even shack up in an Airbnb, it just feels like all things in good time. And this is gonna help you have a more solid footing to be able to get to where you want to be. It's like sometimes, you know, you know how they say Rome wasn't built in the day. Sometimes you have to take a step back. Some, you gotta crawl before you walk. And it feels like there's a form of reset reboot, especially with that three of pentacles there for the good stuff, because that's laying down the new foundation to build upon. Especially this feels like it's very heavily emphasized in regards to your stability, your money. And along with the stability comes down that foundation you're laying down for yourself to have a sense of stability in regards to your living situation. So it feels like things are going, I'm hearing it again, don't worry about a thing because everything little thing's going to be all right. Regardless of where you are on this path, on this journey right now, you will come out on the other side, learning to roll with the punches, go with the flow, roll with the tide. You're being guided towards a sense of stability. It feels like being looked at after. Trust what it is you feel. If you're feeling guided, feeling pushed towards something or in a specific direction, learn to trust your instincts. So go with the flow. Go with what you feel. So I don't know, but pile one, that's what I got for you. That's your read. Some of you could be in this energy where it's, oh, I don't know why I run away. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm also getting the vision of someone who's like kind of like an animal tucking its its head between its legs or you know like tucking a tail between between its legs or something like a cat this could be maybe it started from the bottom now we're here maybe you thought that you were doing good and now there's a sense of mighty have fallen and it's almost like but i thought we were good i thought this was good or there's a sense of needing to rethink try to reevaluate figure out where to from here also trying to keep some of these could be being extra mindful in regards to your finances, your expenses. Um, some of you could be focusing on, you know, trying to save up, pulling back on the wallet, pulling the reins in when it comes to, it's being more mindful of things. I don't know why I got this. Some of you could be in between jobs or, you know, contemplating rethinking when it comes to your work or, or your career. Some of you could be focused on, well, this isn't gonna get, this isn't getting me by. Um, it, it's like reevaluating. Some of you are just reevaluating what matters to you. Uh, you could feel like you're going through a time where it's like you're kind of being tested, where you're really meant to think about what truly matters to you. Your energy, death. You're going through a form of metamorphosis, a change. For some of you, there could have been an actual death that has put you in a place to really kind of reevaluate and reassess things. For some of you, you could feel like, you know, there may, perhaps there was a loss. If you're renting from someone, maybe the landlord passed away and now you have to rethink where you're living. Or um, if you're staying with someone, I don't know, or a family member. Or it just could be a death that makes you really contemplative of the things that really matter. Some of you could have been banking on, you know, things being a certain way, your life being a certain way. And now there's a sense of rude awakening where everything's changing. Things that you thought matter don't anymore. You know, it's, it's a sense of reassessment of one's values, one's life. Life. Some of you could be contemplating if you even want to stay where you're at. Like it, it has the energy of someone, who's, especially for me to keep hearing um, the weekend. I don't know why I run away. Do some of you could literally just want to run away from it all. It's like you know what? I don't even care about any of this anymore. None of this shit matters. It's given that very that. You're going through a form of metamorphosis regardless of whatever it pertains to. Um, and it just feels like a, a form of upheaval uh, change. Some of you could be going, Uranus 
something about Uranus. I, I don't know why I'm getting drawn to the planetary aspects, uh, but Uranus is being brought up as well. Change upheaval, but change for the better. It feels like four of swords, good stuff, relax. It's going to, it, this has a sense of feeling lighter. It feels like whatever you're going through, whatever form of change or metamorphosis, things are going to be, feel lighter for you. Some of you are gonna find yourself packing lighter. Some of you are literally just like, you know what? Especially if there's a form of relocation needed. Some of you are just like, you know what? Going through your stuff and it's like, you know what? None of this shit matters. Some of you are just like letting everything go, leaving it all behind and traveling lighter. I feel like regardless, there's a sense of weightlessness, like a sense of the weight being pulled off of you. So things are going to feel a bit easier. It's like you're able to breathe. Some of you could be in the energy where you're just really kind of pulled back and focused on your finance, on your, your coin, trying to stack up. There's a sense of change to one's own life, own dynamic and living situation as well. Things are about to get easier. You're going to be able to breathe, feel like you can breathe. Things are about to get a little lighter. Now what to avoid? The chariot. Stay on course, stay on path. Don't allow anything to turn you off course, off of the path that you're on. It feels like you're on the right track to whatever this is, but don't allow yourself to get pulled into the circus, uh, into whatever that kind of pulls you. Don't let anything derail you or pull you off track is what I want to say. Because I, I am, I'm drawn to like the circus aspect and the do, 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 do. leave the circus behind. I feel like you're out of time. Whatever you're going through, it's going to get better and you're going to feel like you can breathe. And there's a sense of whatever upheaval, it's going to get better. It just feels like, you know, leave the circus act behind. Don't go backwards, only go forward. Don't allow anything to derail you or throw you off course or throw you off of the path that you're on right now. Oh, wait a minute. I just, was I saying the word upheaval or something like that? Because I just realized, um, surprise and advice. You got this. Hierophant and the upheaval card. So surprise look you got this you're gonna overcome this and it feels like you're gonna get through whatever this is now some of you you're on the brink is what i want to say some of you could if you've already dealt with a form of upheaval it just feels like you're on the brink it's it's like you're on the brink of going through the door is what it feels like it's like stepping on the other side of of whatever upheaval you've been dealing with especially for those of you you've been more so kind of closed off to yourself focusing on you know how to get yourself in a good place or you know how to change your situation or whatever if you felt like you were in the dark you were still a sense of uncertainty it feels like the answers are coming but a lot of you you're also going to come to see that whatever this situation is it's also meant to teach you that you if you can get through this you can get through anything some of you have been through more than enough in your life that this is nothing you're going to come to realize you know what there's a sense of having faith as well and in inner knowing that you know what you got this I just heard it's always darkest before the dawn. I don't know where you sit in regards to this, but it feels like if you feel like you're going through it or you're in the midst of it, you're into the, you're in, now I'm hearing um, backyard again, into the thick of it. And if you feel like you're in the thick of it, you're going to come out on, on um, the other end of this. Unscathed is what I heard. I don't know why. This is very specific. This could be for like a small few, um, a small... <sighs> this could be predictive. If any of you go deal with some form of natural disaster, something that cause some form of disaster to the structure of your home or something. It's it's like some form of brink of disaster or something kind of happen, happening. Some of you could have dealt with some form of disaster, whether that's a, a fire or something. So, some some an earth damage from an earthquake someone could deal with damage from an earthquake i don't know why i'm seeing like storms or something too like hurricane or something or tornado uh, there could be like a small handful of people who there could be something in regards to damages to a home from some form of chaos or a natural disaster or something it's like something that's kind of meant to push you away from where you are because you're you're not supposed to be where you're at now for some of you if you're dealing with something like that there could also be something in regards to a payout if any of you dealt with anything like that and insurance was holding off on a payout you could be getting the payout if anyone has dealt with anything or if this is predictive which i you know i hope not but i i'm seeing it and hearing it and feeling it so i have to say it this could this could very well be for someone as well who goes through or has gone through something in regards to feeling like they lost it all due to some form of act of nature or something else it feels like ugh, you might have to rough it or maybe you've been roughing it for a while if something like that happened to you but it feels like you're going to get through it things are going to change for the better this feels like if something happened or happens 
it's for a form of means to push you somewhere you wouldn't have gone. It's like you're not meant to be there at that spot. If any of you dealt, if like if, say if you're a homeowner or something like that, or even if you have like renter's insurance, I suppose, and something happened or happens, it's almost like you're going to see where it's almost like, wow, well, had that not even happened, might, that was horrible to go through. Or that, you know, I didn't know how we were going to get through it. But honestly, if it didn't happen, then, you know, this wouldn't have happened or I wouldn't have been here or, you know, uh, my life wouldn't be like, it's, it's almost like whatever it is, even if it's not in regards to like some form of, you know, something happens to the actual physical place that you're in, an act, uh, an act of nature or, you know, even if, you know, because now I'm, I'm seeing like um, just a house that's, old, rotted, uh, falling apart or something. Oh, no, this is so tickly. Hold on. It's almost like coming to see, well, if this didn't happen, then I wouldn't have gotten up and left this place to begin with. I would have stayed there. And it's coming to see just why everything had to happen. So you're going to have a, a moment, a time where you come to see that everything had to happen the way this did. Otherwise, you're seeing the, the, um, the bigger picture, the bigger scale, and there's a sense of being grateful for it. So... I don't know. I, I like it. It feels like things are going to get lighter and, and feel a lot easier. It's like being able to breathe. It's like a huge weight being lifted off of your chest and being able to just breathe. Some of could have been dealing with a place or, you know, could be dealing with a place where it, maybe it's hard to breathe. Maybe there's, you know, mold, mildew, rotted wood, old house, old fixtures. And it's almost like you hold yourself to a place where it's almost like you feel like you have to stay there, maybe because of finances, but then something happens, causes to push you out. But it's like, don't try to force a shoe to fit. Don't go backwards, move forward. It, it, it feels like this is the energy of those dealing with a situation where it's like something's trying to push you away from something because now I'm literally seeing like um like the analogy like the visual of you know someone trying to squeeze like a pimple or something you know it's gross but that's kind of what it gives like something's meant to kind of push you out and depending upon where you are in the spectrum of this it just feels like things are going to get easier things are going to feel better um also with this chariot too of what to avoid this goes hand in hand where it's like especially with that trying to push and pop and force out type energy don't hold yourself back again stay forward movement if you're feeling guided or pushed towards a certain direction follow it don't hold yourself back to the circus act you know i keep getting drawn to like a circus act you know maybe you've been a part of the circus for a while and i'm not saying you're in the actual circus but it's like whatever you've been tied to that just isn't serving you it's like when you try to force the shoe to fit you know maybe you've been trying to force thing, things to kind to work out where you're at because it's easier it's what's familiar even if you know but i could just get by you know it's it's safe it's leaving the safety net leaving it all behind and then seeing why everything had to play out the way it did and being grateful for it to be honest so again i don't know where you are in this this just feels like i'm not even making sense and everything is completely all over the place but you know what the messages are what they are it feels kind of chaotic maybe you feel like your life is a bit of chaos or you know you were going through it or you just got out of the chaos regardless it feels like things are going to feel easier Easier, lighter like you can breathe and finally put this all past you once and for all seeing the brighter picture why everything had to happen the way it did but yeah pile two that's what I got for you that's your read next up pile three what do we have going on for pile three seven seven some of you could feel like you're uncertain where to from here now if this is in regards to a connection some of you could feel like you're uncertain of where to from here if this is in regards to a connection or a breakup or a split or this could even just be like a severance of a contract do i renew this lease or you know maybe the landlord doesn't want to uh renew the lease this could be someone who wants to raise the rent. Some of you could feel like, you know, your life isn't going how you planned it. Like maybe you planned out like the storybook. Oh, it's going to be like this. And then I'm going to, some of you, I'm not going to lie. You know, as much as this is talking about good outcome love, I just feel like some of you are kind of being pulled out of the mindset of that whole storybook life it's like someone who was basically raised upon the idea of everything works out like like a fairy tale and it's like coming to realize you know have you ever read the fairy tales grim i mean they're not exactly all you know love and light and you know uh, unicorns and rainbows and sprinkles and glitter farts you know it's it's not that shit you know i mean think about it and let's just go with disney disney literally romanticizes so much fucked up shit <laughs> do and it's like in retrospect you know when the little kids are watching they're like oh my god but meanwhile as an adult and you're looking at this shit it's like dude really what are we teaching these fucking kids it's like that's not that's not no it's like someone you're getting your bubble burst some of you can feel like you're getting your bubble burst no your current energy to a sort uh this is like a reality check where it's almost like oh, 
right? Well, life isn't a fairy tale. It doesn't always work out how you think it's going to. It is. This has reality check written all over it. Um, it's like maybe you look through the world through rose-colored glasses, right? And there's a sense of needing to be kind of pulled down and uh, hit with the sense of reality. It's like you're learning to cut out the bullshit, no longer look at life and the world through rose-colored glasses. And again, that doesn't even have to pertain to love. This, Especially this read does not pertain to love. This is more so in regards to the way things things work. Now this could even be like, maybe you're younger, you know, maybe you're just new to being out there on the scene and you're realizing, well, you know, mommy and daddy can't take care of you all your life. You know, eventually you got to grow up and it's almost like, wait a minute, you know, that could be it too. Maybe you're a little bit younger and you felt like, you know what, I'd always have someone to take care of me. And it's like, wait a minute, you got to take care of yourself be your own hero. Good stuff. Knight of Wands. I feel like you're going to find yourself in this energy where it's like if you're someone who you sat around and you just like kind of waited for, you know, someone to come save you or, you know, someone to make it all better. It's like learning to basically step up, man up, woman up, be that person to go do the things, make shit happen for yourself. It's like maybe you were going in circles. Maybe you're someone who nothing for nothing, you would literally because now I'm hearing like sugar mama, sugar bear. Maybe you're just always looking for someone to take care of you. And you realize, you know what? You put yourself in worse predicaments because you, people will settle for whatever for the sake of whatever they can get in, in regards to it's like, I have literally seen firsthand people put themselves in situations that are definitely not good for them, but they do it because, oh, well, they take care of me or, you know, I need a place to stay. Da, da, da. And it's like, if you're not happy with the way things are going, then maybe you need to change the way you're doing things, especially if you hold yourself in the sense of codependent energy where it's like, but I need someone to take care of me. It's like, no, we're going to cut the snake off, uh, cut the head off the snake and realize, you know what? We could take care of ourselves instead of going in circles with all this bullshit. Especially if you're someone you want a form of stability. What to avoid? For some of you, it could be a literal person who you're setting boundaries with. Are you, you know, someone who would just as fast toss you in the... Don't jump to worst case scenario as well. And also don't put yourself in situations that you're only setting yourself up for failure. <sighs> know that you don't need anyone, that you got this. You can do this yourself. I feel like this is for someone who's needing to learn self-reliance and learn how to be independent and know that they can in fact do this. They do got this, even if they don't know. You know, this 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 feels like the energy of someone who, even in look at the seven of wands, it's like someone looks younger there. And then we have the knight here. It, it is, it's given the energy of someone who maybe you're a little bit younger. For someone want to say 20s, 30s, early to mid 30s, 20s, um, something like that but you're younger. I feel like I'm talking to a younger crew here, or maybe you just have a younger mindset because maybe you were just raised in a specific way where, you know, you were made to think that you needed someone to take care of you, that you couldn't do it yourself. Um, maybe you were someone who's very sheltered and you're learning, you know, the world will eat you up and chew you out if you let it. You need to do for yourself. You need to have a backbone. Don't be your own roadblock. Don't be your own sense of detriment. Don't rely on other people to make things better for you, to fix your life for you. I feel like I'm talking to someone who it's like you're being pushed to learn how to be self-reliant, to not need someone, to learn that you can do this. You don't need anyone. You don't need to rely on other people. You've got this yourself. Surprise and advice. Possibilities are limitless and endless. And when there, where there's a will, there is a way. Don't be so swift to feel like you have to take whatever is tossed your way. This goes hand in hand with what I was saying before as well here, where it's like uh, people will put themselves in not the best situations. They will put themselves in situations where they tolerate not the best shit. And it's all like literally where it's like put themselves in situations where, you know, they can't have any boundaries because they rely or they feel they put themselves in a situation where even if it's not good for them, seven of cups, you notice we have all those different cups. Some of them have snakes, devil, all that shit, right? Not every cup that you pick is good. And there's a sense of realization, learning, taking it all in that just because there are certain things available or just because, you know, there's this or there's that, or, you know, someone could do this or someone could do that doesn't mean that you can't do it yourself. You can figure it out yourself. And I feel like you're going to come to see, you're going to come to observe and realize that you not only got this, you don't need anyone. 
It's like someone who's learning that they can do this, that where there's a will, there's a way, and you will find a way to do this all on your own without having to compromise yourself or put yourself in situations that are no good for you or because maybe you were... <sighs> Maybe you were raised to be codependent or maybe you were raised sheltered or just raised to have that belief where it's like, it, it kind of reminds me of like, I'm getting drawn back to a conversation. When I was a kid, I was like single digits. Oh, I remember when this was, this is when Poppy had died. And um, my grandmother had sent me to my grandfather's uh, second wife. So she, uh, she, she had me in the car and she was driving me home that night. And um, I don't even know where the hell this conversation came from. I was like eight, maybe seven or eight. Yeah, like somewhere around eight. And she's saying to me where it's like, you know, make sure you marry someone rich who has money and they can take care of you. Marry yourself a rich man. I told my grandmother too. I was raised with my grandmother. Um, but I told her too that she said this and she, she even laughed. She's like, well, why didn't she? But it's, it's kind of given that where it's like, maybe you were raised to believe that you had to have people take care of you and that you, you know, that's not how it works though. People will put themselves in situations that compromise themselves, their own sense of morals, their own sense of ethics. They compromise them, minds themselves by putting themselves in situations because they feel like they need to, because they become reliant upon these things. And I feel like whatever this is that you're going through, you're gonna get through it. It's just, you're being kind of pushed through a situation where um, you're learning that you can walk through the fire alone and come out unscathed. And that you don't have to put yourself in situations that go against you, who you are as a person. This feels like who's someone who who basically holds himself to situations that compromise their own sense of morality, their own ethics, all that. No longer allowing people in situations to walk all over you. No longer putting your, holding yourself to situations for people to just walk and stomp all over you. It is, it's, it's given like, um, oh, this is given hardcore flashbacks. Okay, all right, here we go. I'm about to throw myself under the bus. Many, many years ago, many, many moons. Uh, wow, almost, almost 20 years ago. Holy shit, right? Yeah, almost 20 years ago. <sighs> That's a long time. Almost, not quite, but almost. I went through a situation. I was homeless. The place that I was living in, uh, the family sold the house and the new people who came in, they gave notice. And at that time, no one wanted to rent to someone with kids. They viewed kids worse than pets. So it made it difficult. And I found myself in a situation where I went to go stay with someone and I felt like I was in a bit of a helpless situation where I had no choice but to basically, you know, uh, let this person walk all over me. It, it was such a chaotic, like you wanna talk about plutonic shit. You're talking about every penny that I had kept going into that house. And still every night we weren't even guaranteed a plot because the person who we were staying with, they weren't. But it's, it's given that type of energy where it's like you feel like your back is up against the wall. And so you have to deal with, you know, whatever. And it's like, but you don't. That's, that's kind of what it's given. It's given me a flashback to that. And it's like, you don't have to put yourself in a situation that you don't need to be in. It's learning that there are other ways that you don't, need to compromise yourself you, even if you feel like you're backed in a corner because seven of the seven of wands can also be like you're backed in the corner feeling like you're backed in a corner and it's like even if you feel like you're backed in a corner it doesn't mean you have to compromise yourself you don't have to put yourself in a situation where it's not good you got this i feel like whatever the situation is it's to teach you that you got this you can come out unscathed this is learning your power this is meant to bring change, to help empower you, to help teach you that you do have the strength to do this shit yourself, that you can get through this. And you, you can do it without having to compromise yourself or put yourself in a situation where you feel backed in a corner and helpless. Because where there's a will, there's a way. And when you're determined, where there's a sense of determination, you go after and do the things that you need to do and you come out on top. Be smart about things. Don't be so swift to just put yourself into a situation that you know is no good or you know where you feel like you're backed in a corner. This is like a situation, okay, for some of you this could be where it's like you're being put into a situation where you could feel like you're backed in a corner, but are you gonna do a, but there's a sense of fight or flight. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna basically bow down and cower and just allow shit to happen to you? Or are you going to stand up and say, not today, Satan, I got this. And this is not my story. This is not how this ends. Grab the rain and steer this shit to go the way that you want it to. That's what it's given. I feel like this is meant to help you 
step into your power, grab a backbone and make shit happen for yourself. So this way you're no longer relying upon others or putting yourselves in situations that bring a sense of instability to your life. So I don't know, but um, pile three, that's what I got for you. That's your read. All right, my loves. Well, if you made it this far, thank you all so very much. I absolutely love and adore every single last one of you. With that said, I hope you all have a fantastical rest of your day, rest of your night, whatever time it is where you are. I love you all. Be well, be safe, and I will catch you all on the next one. Bye.